What is good everybody? Welcome back to another epic My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. We got an epic one for you guys. We're going to be discussing what is exactly next for the MDT Pick Fed. Obviously, we just posted our biggest and in my personal opinion, the best show that we've ever done. It was Hell's Gate. It was a couple days ago. I'm sure anybody that's watching this video has probably seen it by now unless you're not a fan of the Pick Fed, you don't enjoy it or you just I don't know. If if you're a big fan of MDT and you're watching this video, then you probably watched it because if you weren't interested in the Pick Fed, you probably wouldn't have clicked the video anyways. But uh, let's go ahead and dive in, guys. I, again, I do want to give a huge thank you to you guys who, who tuned in to the live video for Hell's Gate for the live premiere. I appreciated that so much for all the kind words regarding the show, as well as yesterday where we took a look at all the different custom figures. If you guys missed that video, you want to see you know all the custom figures that were included in Hell's Gate, all the, you know, the behind-the-scenes custom figures that I made for the show to surprise for you guys. I did upload a video yesterday detailing all those and just talking about my inspiration behind them, all the things I did to those figures and how we created them and made them for the show. So if you guys want to see that, check that out. But let's talk about what is next. What is next for the MDT Pick Fed? Obviously, this Hell's Gate show took a damn massive load onto me, guys. It really did drain me. It, it drained the hell out of me. And I think that's honestly because I started film, filming it December 1st because um, I, you know, we got done. I think I posted the last episode of MDT Live. Obviously, you guys know the schedule goes Vindication, MDT Live, Vindication, MDT Live, Vindication, MDT Live, then a pay-per-view. Well, when I posted the last MDT Live, it was on November 22nd or something. So I gave myself a week, you know, to get the stage finished up, to get any little things, you know, ring skirts, arena, uh, any last-minute booking, any last-minute customs. I gave myself the week between the 22nd or 23rd or 24th, whatever day it was that I posted. I know it was like, it was like eight days or seven days or whatever it was between December 1st and the last time I posted an MDT wrestling show. And th from December 1st on until the show was actually posted, I mean, we hit so many, like, little speed bumps and, you know, big-time hurdles that we had to get over. Obviously, uh, we had Christmas, which is, you know, it's not necessarily a hurdle, but that takes away time, you know, when... when Big time holidays roll around. I'm obviously going to spend that time with family and, you know, enjoy time off with, you know, my wife. And yeah, obviously, Josiah wasn't here yet, but at that time, it was my pregnant wife and family and stuff like that. So I wanted to enjoy that time, you know, enjoy Christmas with my family. And obviously, that was a great deal. But then after that, uh, obviously, Allie was also sick during December. So she was really sick. So we were doing, you know, visits at the veterinarian. We we're going back and forth to the vet's office here and there, just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and so that took away time, and then she ended up passing away like two or three weeks later, and that was really, really tough, that was super tough for us, and it's still tough to this day, like I literally miss that cat every single day of my being, and I don't know, I don't know when that'll go away, I don't know if, you know, if it ever will, you know, I'll probably always miss her, but, you know, uh, that, that's just what um, we had to go through at that point, and so we went through that, and then I had my wisdom teeth surgery, and then my son was born, and so it was just every time I tried to bounce back and get the show back on track to get it up, you know, obviously it was supposed to be up on December 31st, and then we had, you know, Allie pass away, and then we had the wisdom teeth surgery, so I was like, okay, well then February 29th, that's the last day I'm giving myself, then Josiah was born on the 22nd, so then it was like, well, Jesus Christ, so then I finally got myself together, I got everything finished, and it was posted, and that took a, like, so much out of me, man. It took so much out of me from everything, just everything that we went through to get that show up. We finally got it up, and I'm just, I feel like a weight was so lifted off my shoulders. Like yesterday, I didn't have to panic about filming and, you know, editing and stuff like that. And I know it takes a while to get to the shows and whatever, but it's because I'm a one-man crew, man. Besides besides Brad helping me commentate and, you know, stuff like that, besides mental support, I mean, I'm the only one doing the physical stuff. I'm creating the stage. I'm making the customs. I'm, you know, ordering things. I'm building things. I'm filming it. I'm editing it hours upon hours upon hours. And so, you know, if I had a team or if I had some people with me, I think it would be a lot more easier to get to the different shows. But following this show, I'm definitely taking a little bit of a break. You know, I don't want it to be a massive break because I want to get to these shows as fast as you guys do for sure. I do need to do a few tweaks to some scripting and stuff like that. So, you know, to make everything work the way I want it to and to come out, you know, uh, as beautifully as it does across in the different in different shows like the pay-per-views. In order for that stuff to come out right and how I want it, I do have to write it down. I have to get my images in my head correctly and stuff like that. So I definitely am going to take the uh, probably the next couple weeks to 
two to three weeks to get my mind right. And I have to shift over the arena, obviously, and then we got to get started on Vindication because from now, it is going to go Vindication. So this is the upcoming schedule for the shows. We're going to do Vindication 16, MDT Live 16, Vindication 17, MDT Live 17, Vindication 18, MDT Live 18, and then it will be My Damn Nation, which is our WrestleMania, which will be absolutely massive. Ugh. About vomited on that massive... Ugh. So, we do have six shows until we get to My Damn Nation, which a lot of people are joking, obviously. It is going to be a little bit before we get there. Obviously, it's, it is. it is. It just is. That's the way it's going. But um, I do want to get there as fast as possible. If I could, I would love to have My Damn Nation out before the end of 2020. That would be really, really nice, especially since we're all on quarantines and shit like that. I mean, I, I got time. You know, I mean, we're not going anywhere. So, uh, besides hanging out with family and, you know, staying home and working on stuff and stuff like that, I mean, it should be re relatively easy. I mean, I'm going to be, you know, again, I am taking this two to three week break um, to not really do anything regarding filming as far as the pick fed is concerned. So, that is something I will obviously be consistently uploading every single day um, other than pick fed videos, but they will return. You know, I got to get Vindication started. Again, I am going to tweak scripts in the next two to three weeks. But My Damn Nation is going to be massive. Obviously, Hell's Gate was massive, but I really can't tell you uh, how long My Damn Nation is going to be, but it's going to be massive. I plan on doing a really epic stage. I plan on doing a really epic arena. I really don't know how to make the arena any bigger than it already was, but I am going to try and add some stuff to it, extend it a little bit. I want it to be really, really big, and because this is going to be my WrestleMania, quote-unquote, you know, really big show. I, I really want to bring everything. You know, we always try to bring everything in these shows, like from attires to stages to entrances, stuff like that. We're going to put everything into the show just like we do in any other. So we're going to do that. And we're going to premiere My Damn Nation 2 once we get there. And it's going to be sick as hell. I can already just, you know, picture it. You, you guys saw kind of where things are going, you know, for, for the show as far as feuds, how they're going to unfold the next few weeks on Vindication and MDT Live. <laughs> Got a little tongue twisty there. So you guys obviously, you know, saw how it's going to unfold maybe over the next three weeks. A lot of stuff going on. A lot of big time returns and debuts happened at Hell's Gate if you if you guys missed out on that. I definitely recommend going and seeing that because uh, a lot of stuff happened at that show. And honestly, to be honest with you guys, I feel like the show may have been overbooked at some points. But you know what, man? That's, you know, it, it was exciting. It, it was epic and uh, I put all that effort into the show. And uh, we, we got some epic things coming for My Damn Nation. Again, attires are going to be special. Like, I didn't want to tell you guys, oh, look out for special attires. I just kind of like to drop them on you. Like, you know how long I had to keep those attires secret from you guys? I don't like to do that, but I had to do it. I mean, I, I was sending them out to a couple people here and there, like select people here and there. I was showing Victoria. I was showing, you know, random people. But uh, I had to keep those under wraps. And that really pained me because I was like, damn, bro, I know that, you know, the fans are really going to love this attire. They're really going to like this a lot. And so I had to keep that under wraps but now you guys know what's coming next uh we got some epic stuff seth rollins won the royal rumble he got turned on by dean ambrose uh i mean there's there's so many things going on like just a bunch of stuff happened at hell's gate to where it's it's looking like my damn nation is going to be an epic ass card man i can't freaking wait to film it i can't wait to get started on all the construction for it um it's going to be a long show and I hope you guys tune in for that one as well, because it's it's going to be massive. Like, when I say massive, I mean massive. I'm going to do everything, like, Hell's Gate times 10 is what I'm what I'm planning on doing. So, it, obviously, it's going to take a little bit to get there, but I did want to let you guys know what's next, obviously. So, if you looked at it from a regular pay-per-view schedule, like a WWE schedule or wrestling, you know, calendar, you would see the Royal, or we had the Royal Rumble, obviously, and then you had our shows following that up until Hell's Gate. So Hell's Gate is like our Elimination Chamber pay-per-view, quote-unquote. And then after that, it would be our, quote-unquote, WrestleMania. So that's how the calendar would go. So in the real-life calendar of MDT, whatever year it is, it January was Royal Rumble, February would be Hell's Gate, and then uh, Wednesday, what the hell am I talking about? March would be uh, WrestleMania slash My Damn Nation. So, going to be epic, man. I can't wait to get there. If you guys have any concept stages or anything, you know, any ideas for anything for it, I would love to hear them down in the comment section below. You can DM me, whatever, any ideas. I'm always taking ideas, any cool things. And, you know, if I really like it enough, I will definitely use it. One thing I do want to announce is at My Damn Nation, there is going to be the first match on the card is going to be, or possibly a pre-show. I don't know how it's going to work, if it's going to be a pre-show match, if it's going to be in the middle of the card. I really don't know. It's probably going to open the show, if I had to guess, if we don't do some bank. 
banger ass match. Um, probably to hook everybody in, you know, to start off the show. The opening matchup is going to be, um, or just a matchup on the card is going to be, and you, you guys know how we have the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. We are going to do an Alley Cat Memorial Battle Royal, and I am going to get made a custom gold Alley Cat trophy in figure size. So the winner of the Alley Cat Memorial Battle Royal will not only win, be the first ever Alley Cat Memorial Battle Royal, you know, trophy winner. They're going to hold the trophy and, you know, it'll go on their, you know, accomplishments list. They're also going to get a future title opportunity of their choosing, not the main event championship, though. Not the, not an elite or MDT championship, but any other championship they will be first in line for. But the extreme championship's on the line 24-7, so it probably wouldn't be that one either. So, U.S. title, Ironman championship, and uh, the uh, revolutionary championship would all be up for grasp if you win that. So you'll get a number one contendership automatically as well as the Alley Cat Memorial Battle Royal Trophy, which will be a gold cat statue trophy for the winner. So you guys can look forward to that. I did want to do that. That will cement her legacy. Obviously, her uh, her legacy is already cemented, but I did want to you know, create that for her and just uh, continue to honor her and have that. I think that'd be a really cool idea. So I am going to do that for everybody, and uh, I, I'll probably get that knocked out here in the next two to three weeks. I just really want to make that trophy uh, for, for her memory and stuff like that. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. If you guys were wondering what is next... What is next is my damn nation. You know, we got the shows following up. I'm going to try my best again. I do have some things that I got to do as far as like my Kenny Omega figure. I really don't know what to do about all that blood because he has a custom painted face. So I'm probably going to have to either make a brand new Kenny Omega or I'm going to have to repaint his head and get all that paint off of his chest or the blood off his chest. So that is what it is. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for tuning in. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys have any uh, any videos that you want to see or anything like that or whatever, just comment down below what you think of the pick fed situation, the Alley Cat Memorial Battle Royal, anything you'd like to add down in the comment section below, I would love to hear it. Also, um, the MDT Battle Royal is going to return this month and the coming weeks, so be on the lookout for that. But uh, anyways, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you so much for tuning into Hell's Gate and all the kind words regarding the show. Truly, it means a ton. If you missed those customs, go check them out. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyNamToys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.